American Medical Systems presents the next generation in the Mini-Arc Sling family system. Mini-Arc Precise is the next generation in the Mini-Arc Sling family. With the same safety profile as the original Mini-Arc, the next generation Mini-Arc Precise is designed to offer more precise delivery and control. Empty the bladder. A catheter may be used to aid in identifying the urethra. If desired, inject a solution at the incision site between the vaginal wall and urethra. Additional hydrodissection may be performed by injecting a solution laterally toward the ischiopubic ramus in order to better identify the lateral sulci. Make a 1.5 centimeter incision in the anterior vaginal wall beginning approximately one centimeter proximal to the urethra meatus and continuing down toward the bladder neck. Insert the tip of a Metzenbaum scissors laterally. Spread scissors 1 to 1.5 centimeters wide while advancing a minimum of 1 centimeter in the direction of the posterior portion of the ischiopubic ramus. Repeat bilaterally to create periurethral space for the sling. For sling placement, locate and mark the area just below the adductor longus tendon, lateral to the inferior pubic ramus. Needle insertion should be aimed in the direction of this mark. When loading the sling tip, make sure the needle and sling tip are fully engaged and no space remains. You may feel a tactile sensation or snap. Insert the needle and aim toward the medial edge of the obturator foramen, approximately 45 degrees off the horizontal plane. Track the needle along the posterior surface of the ischiopubic ramus. Once you are beyond the ischiopubic ramus, pivot the handle and advance the needle into the obturator internus muscle until the midline mark on the mesh is approximately at the midline position under the urethra. To release the sling tip, pull back the slider on the handle using one or two fingers. Keep the slider depressed while removing the needle. Load the second sling tip onto the needle. Place the sling tip on the patient's opposite side. In order to achieve proper sling tension, the sling should lie flat against the urethra. The sling is too loose if the mesh sags when pulled from behind or if an instrument is easy to fit between the mesh and the urethra. The sling may have too much tension if the mesh appears to curl or roll out, or the width of the mesh narrows, or may show convexity. Standard tension is achieved when the mesh lies flat against the urethra and no space between the sling and urethra remain, and the width of the mesh does not change. Note that the midline mark does not need to be centered to achieve standard tension. At the end of the procedure, complete the closure of the vaginal incision.